Hey everybody, it's Nerf Boy Productions here, and today I want to show you guys these. These things are my new SWAT guns. They're not actually SWAT guns at all, but they look kind of like it, and that's just what I'm going to call this series. This is like the Nerf SWAT series. Don't ask why I decided to call it that, I just did deal with it. Now, as you can see here, I have two new blasters to show you guys. Uh, this one, of course, is a long shot, and this one is a strife. I'm going to start with the strife. So let's get a close up right away of this beautiful blaster. So you can see here it's got, um, I guess you would consider gray and black. I guess they're the, I don't know which one I would consider primary, probably gray and then all the black has the secondary color. Um, and it looks really, really cool. So the blaster in itself is just a strife, like if you take away everything, but it's got this painted retaliator grip to go on it. Uh, they gave me an 18 dart clip with it. And it has this matching stock, and this optic came with it. This is a real Picatinny rail style attachment, which means it's for real steel blaster uh, guns, rather. And it just looks totally killer. Uh, so that's on there, and that makes it look way more real. And then also this suppressor barrel. If you guys saw my 3D printed solid video, this is made by 3D printed solid. And before I get any further into the video, I want to tell you guys this blaster is made by Cave76 Designs. Stuff is all in the description below where to get one of these for yourself and all that, yada, yada, yada. So um, because I have such a large audience here, I really like to demo off other people's work, um, kind of like everyone meet at Nerf Boy to see you know everybody's work so if you do something I really like it may show up here such as this has but anyways that's why I'm doing this and I real I really really think that this strife is super cool so uh, this strife itself hasn't actually been modified uh, I don't believe all the locks are still in it and stuff um, it revs without a dart but it won't shoot you can't pull the trigger without a dart in it and all that stuff and it seems to just be getting the same distance I could just put like you know Stripes are pretty easy to mod, so I'm probably going to fix this up sometime soon, uh, give it some cool mods. But for now, this is just what it is. Okay, so it's pretty cool, and uh, you guys can just like get a closer shot of the, the paint there for yourself. See how good that looks. Because it does look really, really good. And now the one that I really love. This is the long shot, and I know lately I've been doing a lot of long shot videos. But this one, this one's really cool. They're all really cool. Um, let me just start by saying that this long shot's pretty cool because it has the, uh, if you guys have ever seen the integrated front gun on the bottom of a long shot, it has that. Um, now, one thing to note that I was kind of disappointed by, the front gun is non-functional, it's just for looks. So what happened when I first opened this up out of the box, uh, I went to pump this and it broke off because you can see right here and across here, it was epoxied on, and I totally just ripped off the bonding. So I reapplied it with epoxy, and it's really sturdy now. Um, but yeah, that's the, rather than your normal long shot when you have the fr front building, folding bipods, or the, I guess there is no bipods on the Zombie Strike one. This one now has the front gun of the original blue and yellow long shot. There are birds being noisy. The front gun of the original blue and yellow long shot is uh, just put on there, which is feels really good in the hand and you know all that good stuff. Uh, so, as you can see, the stock is probably my favorite part. Just this little added detail of this caution thing instantly makes it look way, way cooler. Uh, I really, really like it. I wish they kind of did it somewhere on the strife as well. It just looks really, really great. Uh, and this, this long shot is a kit long shot. It is definitely, definitely assembled by tons of different pieces. Uh, because I'll show you in here, if you look inside the bolt sled, you can see it's yellow, okay? But if you look, it's kind of hard to show you a little easier on this side. If you look down in the body, which you can't really see, you see it's yellow there, but down in there, if you were able to see, you'd see it's blue. Actually, if I, if I prime the blaster, it's blue. Uh, so the body was originally blue, the bolt sled is yellow, uh, the front gun, of course, only comes in the yellow and blue ones, but that's not like the that's not like a dark blue from the original. That's like the Zombie Strike blue. Um, so a lot, it's all different colors on the inside, which means it was a kit. 
but I don't really care because it still functions amazingly well. And if you notice this awesome looking barrel on here, this is also made by 3D printed solid, like I said. And if you guys saw that video, I mentioned how one of the prongs on this style of um, barrel broke off. Well, they sent an email back to me and told me that they come in not just black, but like all these different colors. And also, um, they added in support beams, so uh, it's all sturdy now. And they sent me another one for free, which was really, really, really nice of them. I didn't even know that was happening, and they just sent me another in the mail. And I was like, awesome. So I was sure to put it on this blaster to show you guys today uh, because I wanted to thank them for that. So other than that, this long shot is heavily modified. New spring with the air restrictor out. Um, it's got a reinforced bolt sled in there, uh, so that's not gonna break any time. Uh, it's got the felt pad on the end of the plunger so that you know you don't get the loud bang. And uh, a whole bunch of different things, completely relubed, obviously, and all that stuff. No brass barreling or any of that, but uh, it does perform like a beast. Like this one's on par with the death shot, if you guys saw that. Um, but the difference is, the death shot is a little more is a little more inconsistent so like every time you fire you never know what you're gonna get every time I fire with this I'm getting um, you know amazing ranges the only thing I wish was if there was a different type of um, bottom here if they left the stock I could put an Explorer grip on here um, for the long shots if you guys don't know what those are they're like the shotgun style pumps that have the big metal bar I put one on my death shot anyways I wish I could put one on here because it looks pretty cool but this looks awesome too. This could be something straight out of Terminator. Uh, I absolutely love it to pieces and I'm really happy with it. Now obviously it wouldn't be very cool of me to just show you some Nerf blasters and not fire them. So let's shoot them now. Okay, so let's start off with the Strife and for all intents and purposes, I'm going to fire three shots with the suppressor and three without because of course the barrel will decrease the range but increase accuracy. So I'm gonna fire three now um, with the barrel on. And those just performed like a stock elite blaster would. And now I've taken off the uh, suppressor. And I gotta say it looks way cooler with it, but to each his own, I'm now gonna fire without it. So it was way more inaccurate. It's also an extremely windy day, if you guys can tell. But uh, filming outside is always more fun. Anyways, so that's the Strife, which was stock, of course. Let's move on to the long shot. I had blue Digi Camo darts in the Strife and black Digi Camo in the long shot so that we can tell the difference. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and fire, again, same deal, three with the barrel and uh, three without. Incredible. Let's get a far one. Beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna take off the barrel. Actually, I lied. The black digi camo was in the strife. The blue digi camo darts are in the long shot. So three more without the barrel on. Dang, they would go so far if they didn't hit my freaking house. Oh, I'm gonna have to explain what happened to that one. Gosh darn it. Okay, so I'm gonna take off the camera from the tripod and kind of show you guys what happened. So they all kind of hit the house, which is really annoying, uh, which is why I used to do my range tests on the driveway, but it was too, bu too big of a slope. And um, anyways, so this blue digi camo one from the long shot was would have gone really far if it didn't hit this little part where my house kind of angles. Uh, all the black ones landed around here under the chair and stuff from the strife. Another blue one, and then there's a big range of them all there. Um, now these all just like hit here and bounce back. Um, all of them that made past it, this one is from the long shot, and it 
hit this tree and then bounce here. But it actually had potential to go further, which would have been really nice. And then the one that did really well came through and it could have gone over the fence, but it bounced off that tree and went shroom into my pool. Yep, it's legitimately in my pool. Like I, wait, the blue digi camo, yeah, is the long shot darts. And as you can see, there is one in my pool, which is super duper. So that happened, but if we were on an open, you know, an open plane with nowhere for the darts to hit, because I am really shooting through like a four foot passage. Um, well, then with the barrel on, it probably would get to like here. So that's like a hundred feet. It's an 100 foot shooting long shot, which is super duper duper awesome. I absolutely love it to pieces. The strife's pretty sweet too because it's a stock strife, so it means I can do all my mods to it. Well, you know, every strife mod that's really easy to do and all that stuff. Anyway, there's huge potential for there. And uh, I just ultimately think that these blasters are super great. So we're gonna end off this video vlog style, just kind of holding the camera because A, I'm lazy and B, it's kind of fun sometimes. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what you guys want to see in the future. Um, I'm currently trying to work on another Nerf War. Of course, they, if you like the Nerf Wars the best, they don't come as frequently to the channel just because they're harder to do, you know? Um, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you like to see this kind of style of stuff, let me know. Uh, just whatever you guys want, I'm open to it. As long as it's Nerf related, I am a-okay. So. One last time, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe because there's new videos every single Saturday on this channel, as well as I post daily vlogs on my vlog channel, which I've shouted out like a million times, and my gaming channel where I'm taking off and doing a lot of stuff on that. So if you guys are tired of only seeing one video of me every week, there's like a video every day of me on every other channel so you can get a video from me every single day anyways also hit me up on instagram twitter facebook it's all in the description below always is i hope you guys enjoyed and as always this was nerf boy productions signing off